Thank you very much, Ryan, for coming um, to speak to us today. Um, as you as you remember, I went back to club members and asked for questions yeah. that they could, um, I could give to you. So I have, I think, five questions, and um, yeah, I think without you, we'll get started. Um, the first question basically has been asked by two people in two different ways, so I'll, I'll ask both and then afterwards uh, mm -hmm. I'd like to ask them. So the first question is, what do you think of your first year at the club? And the other person put it a different way. Ryan, how do you compare your first season at Enfield Town FC with other clubs you have present, represented? Well, um, yeah, it's been an up and down season for me this year. Um, wasn't playing for, I'd say, probably the first part of the season. Um, what killed me a little bit, I went away in pre-season and hit what I weren't here. Um, but obviously got given a little bit of ultimatum and decided to fight back into getting into the squad and got the armband towards the end of the season. But yeah, I've enjoyed it. The club's fantastic. Being a local boy, I've always looked at the club and always watched the club because I'm only down the road. Um, but yeah, I think my season's been all right. I've had a good ending to the season, I think. And the boys are fantastic. And to set, settle in and, and play the way we play in some games, it's frustrating not playing it games but yeah it's been a good season and I've, I've enjoyed it. Um, so how does this compare to other clubs that you've represented? It's a bigger club if I'm honest. I've not played as a, as a club that's so big as, as Enfield. You know, Canvey is not as big and North Mabby are not as big as, as what Enfield is and the fan base here are, are unbelievable. They're every game home and away and we're fine but yeah to compare it I'd say this is probably one of the best places I've been to play if I'm honest. Thank you, thank you very much for that. As I said, the second um, question has been asked by um, multiple, by three people. So, um, if you'll excuse me, I'll get through the way it's been phrased. It's well documented you turned down offers from other clubs at a higher level. Why did you decide to stay at ETFC? Um, I know you turned down a few offers from clubs higher up the pyramid, but really pleased you chose to stay with us. Will you stay at town the next season? Yeah, I, t I, took down, I took down two offers, one in the league above, one in the same league as us. Um, when I joined the club at the start, I said to Andy, I'm a loyal player. Um, and the situation I was in, I was just getting back into playing and playing every week, 90 minutes, and getting a bit of consistency with my, with my game. And I thought stepping up, it wasn't worth me going. Um, was I going to go there and sit on the bench and, and not play? Well, I'm, we're here, I'm enjoying it, I'm playing it with a good punch. The, the management are a good side over here and do you know what at, at the moment yeah I am I'm here I'm a towner next year um, okay. I've, obviously the, the season's only just finished but yeah I'm a, I'm, I enjoy it here um, so if Andy wants you you'll be saying I'll, I'll be saying yeah. okay. thank you very much I said that's a very nice answer because uh, the rest of the question really <laughs> wouldn't have much uh, meaning if but it's really good to know that you're here next season yeah. and I'm sure the fans will be well pleased with that. So the next question is, do you foresee most of the current crop of players staying with us this next season? Yeah, I can. Obviously having a chat with the boys and being, being the captain, I've sort of done the, done the rounds of asking who wants to stay and who doesn't and I'd say 90% of them want to stay. Like I said, it's a fantastic club, a fantastic support, the management staff are good and yeah, 90% I'd say will stay and others won't stay because personally I think it's too far and, and that would be the only excuse if I'm honest. You can't turn around and say that the club's poor because it's not. It's a fantastic club to be at so yeah, I'd say 90% of the boys will stay the next season. Uh, not mentioning any names but the name from Canby Island for a player that you've played with props up. Um, do you think uh, there's any chance they will be coming over to us. I've seen him over there a few times with his, with his old man. I know him really well. Uh, I'd like to say yes because he's a fantastic player. You can be, you see the relationship that a few boys have got over there. It's, it's really tight and it's hard to get out of. But I would love to see him here. He'd be a great asset to the club, especially in the squad on a, on a Saturday and a Tuesday night. It'd be fantastic to have his goal scorer. But I would like to say I'd like to see him here. Thank you very much for that. Um, for those, I can't mention the name, but um, most people will know who I'm referring to. Ryan, your last question. It's a little bit of fun. Um, we, we've been debating 
you know. What's the L all about on the forehead when you're celebrating? Greeny was doing it other weeks. You know, why, what's this L all about? So there's a new game that's come about on, on PlayStation, it's called Fortnite. And uh, one of the dances on there is Take the L. <laughs> and when it come out, all the boys, so myself, Greeny, Mickey Parcel, Dan Rumors, we all play together. And when you win a game on Fortnite, that's the dance everyone does. So it just come about that when we scored, we would, we would chuck it in there and have a bit of fun with it. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, it's called Take the L and it's from Fortnite. So. That's what it is. Thank you. Before I let you go, do you want to say anything else to the fans? Massive thank you for for the season. I know it's been up and down season. It's been really, really tough. Um, but yeah, I just want to say a massive thank you for the support. And being the 12th man is, is always important for the players on the pitch. And when you're hearing that from the stands on the pitch, it's, it's fantastic. So a massive thank you to, to all the supporters and, and everyone at the club for what they do. Um, and yeah, that's it. I hopefully see you again next year. Well, we certainly hope to see you next year. Thank you very much. No problem.